So love. You could be a kid and show love. Satori is probably the most loving kid there is. I can't imagine her growing up being a selfish, hard person because she's so giving and loving now. So good to start when you're young. Number three, to be a worshiper. We got some worshipers here, like I said. Yes. Teresa's a worshiper. Cassie's a worshiper. Uh, our praise is a worshiper. I remember when Jenny was a praise team years ago. She could have, you know how you would spin? Everybody has a way of doing some people spin. Skip had a little dance. And remember you do a little play the tambourine, you did a little dance. I hate to stop doing the dance because my wife didn't mean to. But she said, we used to do that in kindergarten. It's called the clown jig. <laughs> uh, Chip got offended by that. So he stopped doing the clown jig. <laughs> See, that didn't mean for him to stop praying to God. But he, that, he didn't like doing the clown jig. It was but it's doing praise for God. But God wants a worshiper. Look what it says in John chapter 4. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshiper will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit. And his worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth. One thing about it is that we are born again believers. And we know our God. So some people sing the songs. But we know what we praise. Because we serve a God who is great and mighty. And we're born again. So we have that connection yes. with him. So if anybody needs to be praising God, it's us. Because yes. we are a new creation in Christ. And we are worshipers in the Lord. And we will not be silent because God created us to worship him and praise him. And you got some people that will not worship God. And when praise is going on, they just don't worship God. And it's not just singing softly, but you can always do other ways of worship God mm -hmm. in your service, whatever you're doing. But I know we need to worship the Lord because he desires worshipers. Mm -hmm. If God desires worshipers and I can worship him, I'm going to worship him. Some people sing the songs, but they don't do anything else to worship God. But it's more than just singing songs. It's living yeah. for God. It's your service for other people. Yeah. It's whatever you can do to honor God. Yeah. It's worshiping the Lord. Amen. Are you a worshiper? Amen. Yeah. You ready when one of us to worship? Mm -hmm. You are a worshiper. That's true. And we can worship different ways. When Reverend plays the drums, that's, he expresses his worship with the drums. Mm -hmm. Got a compliment last week or the week before. Somebody said, when I didn't play the piano and the boy Jimmy played the Oh, the praise and worship was really great. <laughs> and the drums even sound good. I guess we even sound better playing with her. But that is it. I thank God for that. Hey, you know what here. I thank God for anybody who's going to worship and praise the Lord. If Tracy got there and start playing. Amen. Start playing like Jerry Lewis. I'm here. Go ahead. Just don't live like he did. So what was the first one I gave you? Totally committed. What was the second one I gave you? There you go. And the third one is a worshiper. Number four, to walk in the revealed light. You know, as God gives us light, we're to walk in that light. As God gives us truth, we're to walk in that truth. You can't walk in something you don't know. So when God keeps revealing stuff to you, you walk in it. When you find out what's right, you walk in it. The next scripture deals with Proverbs 4.18. I read all those Proverbs. And I'll be talking to him. And he'll be, you know, because Proverbs 4 12, and so I looked at Proverbs 21 6. But he didn't tell me what it is. And then I'm like, it was Proverbs. I'm like, I don't know all these Proverbs. Because he knows them so well, but I don't say, like, yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Don't say like, <laughs> but sometimes, yeah, he loves Proverbs because he said, I want wisdom. Because wisdom helps, isn't it? Yeah. Wisdom on your job, wisdom raise kids. Take wisdom raise kids. As you got both in, mom and dad, wisdom. So you guys, are you getting wiser as you walk, you know, get older and older? You think you got wisdom? Yes. Okay. And you'll get even wiser. And you got wise grandparents. I'm, trying, I'm, trying to it. I'm not as wise as I like to be, but I got some sense. Anyway. The path of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, shining even brighter to the full light of the day. What does that mean? You ever wake up in the morning? It's been dark all night, all of a sudden it's dawn, and you see light. Oh, it's, the air is nice and crisp, and it's, you see a light, but as you walk through the day, it gets brighter and brighter until finally at 2 o'clock. When, when Freud likes to cut the grass when it's the hottest part of the day, I guess he must have a heart attack on the lawn, so. <laughs> <laughs> I cut my grass 9 30, 10 o'clock, because I don't want to be out there in that heat. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I cut a church. Now you cut an even yesterday, didn't you? Okay. The guy does that. Now, your walk with God gets brighter and brighter because his truth, you get more and more of his truth. Entrance of your word brings light. 
It gives understanding to the simple. So you're getting brighter and brighter in your walk with God. You get more and more of his knowledge, more and more of who he is and what his will is and his ways. And you find yourself walking even more wisdom of God, more life, more joy, more peace. It's, it's a continual growing of the positive things of God. More of his righteousness. Isn't it good to know you go from strength to strength? Yeah. And I just thank God for that because he wants us to walk in his revealed life. It says this in Deuteronomy 29, 29 says, the secret things belong to God, but the things he reveals to us belong yes. to us. Okay. So when God gives you a knowledge or what's going to please him, he gave it to you. Mm -hmm. Why? So you can walk in it. Mm -hmm. He wants you to please him. Mm -hmm. And I want to please God. Yeah, you know, when uh, Darius was by himself in the house and Chuck and went to Savannah, Darius wanted to prove that they could trust him. He said he kept cleaning that house, cleaning that house. Because what? He wanted to please you guys when he came home. That it wasn't dirty. Everything, clothes weren't everywhere. The dishes weren't in the sink. He wanted to, we have to want to please God like that. Amen. Whatever pleases God, I'm seeking to please God in my life. Amen. How I speak to people, how I talk with people, how I treat people. God wants us to please him. How you interact in the church, how you love in the church, how you praise and worship God, how you read your word, how you pray at home. I want to please God in everything I do. So as he gives me knowledge and understanding and light, I'm going to walk in it. Number five, develop an intimate relationship with God and with other people. Yes. It's good to be a good father and love your kids, but do you love anybody outside your family? I can love my kids, I can love my wife, but can you love anybody else? All Tracy's money and time goes in the family. People are you, but if anybody else is lost, that's them. But you see, you are to be a beacon to other people. You're like, you work with shame. It's an opportunity to, to shine brightly. I remember Shane, you don't realize the little things you do for people make a difference. You know why Shane liked me? Because I talked to him. He said, he worked a lot of different places. Nobody ever talked to him. I was a poor kid. He said, I worked over here. I worked over there. Nobody ever talked to me. I worked with you and you talked to me. It made me feel significant. It made me feel like somebody cared about him. I'm just thinking, I would just talk to him. You know, but it made him feel good. I remember with Kent, I talked to him. And I knew I made a way because one day he came bringing his mom's uh, first prize apple pie from the Apple Festival. <laughs> and, and his mom was like, gee, here's an apple pie. I said, well, thank you. And then he brought me another apple pie. And that's why I started saying, where's my apple pie? Because you know, his mom could make good apple pie. But he wanted me to know, I like you. Your friend, because you talked to me, you shared with me, you was nice to me. And to show my appreciation, here's some apple pie. Apple pie, I don't ever turn on no apple pie. <laughs> or no yellow cake with chocolate ice in case anybody knows. <laughs> but I know that people appreciate little things that you do. So I want to continue to show love to people, talk to people, to be kind to people. Because Christians, we are to be, that's one of the fruits of spirit, to be kind that's to right. people. Yeah. Some Christians are stuck up, mm -hmm. they're snobby. I, I remember this guy who got the phone rings. He picked the phone at work at an accident department. He started walking around the accident department. Do you know a Dave Tinker? Do you know a Dave Tinker? I said, you've been working beside him for six, for six months and didn't know his name. As close as those two are, that's how close they work together. And didn't know his name in six months. There's no way in the world you're going to work with me for six months and you don't know my name. And know my kid's name. No, that's like a woman. And you're going to know my wife. We're going to get together and they know everything about where they live with the phone number of their wife. But they share. They, they look for that. Amen. Tracy, we know men. We don't do that, do we? <laughs> Okay, he goes to work, puts his headphones on, does his job, and goes home. I talk a little bit. I talk a little bit, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but God wants us to have an intimate relationship with him. Psalms 25, verses 4 and 5. God wants to be close to us. He said, draw near to me. Seek me. Yes. He created us for that relationship. He wants to have a relationship with us. He wants to be like Adam and Eve when you come down and talk to him in the garden. He wants that kind of relationship with us. That he can fellowship with us on a regular basis. He says, show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. God, talk to me. Tutor me. Be with me. Share with me. I want God to have that intimate relationship with me. I want to walk with God like Noah did. Like Enoch did. I want to have the heart of God like David did. I want you to trust and believe in God like Abraham did. And he was happy with Abraham because he believed God. Whatever God said, Abraham believed him. To the point he was even going to sacrifice his son. But had the knife in the air ready to come down to kill his son. Because he knew God could bring him back from the dead. 
And then they're just ramming the bush and God stopped it. Yeah. Tracy, you have that kind of faith that you would lay Ann on the altar, have a nice in the air. Would you let him do it? Oh, okay. good. <laughs> but that's faith. That's trust. That you trust God like that. You know, Troy, you've been laying on the altar and Coy's got the knife and air ready to stab him, but you just let him is trusting God. See, that's a lot of trusting God like that. That's something. So God honors that. When you trust God that much, that God will, if he killed him, he'll bring him back to the dead. Mm -hmm. Just trusting God. So God wants us to have that kind of faith in him. It's an intimate relationship. I look at my son, I have a good relationship with him. Look how he is with this son. Look at that. It's being intimate. Some men don't like, don't want to be intimate with their sons and their daughters. You know, it's, it's good to touch. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us, he'll kiss you on the cheek. There's some men, they don't want to even shake your hand. But God wants an intimate relationship Amen. with us. How does he get that? Well, I'm going to spend time in prayer. I'm going to spend time in his word. I'm going to love his people. I'm going to continue to worship him. And all the other keys that I got, but I want to show love to people. <clears throat> and God said, when you show love to people and you love me, because you just can't love God and not love people. Mm -hmm. So I love God, but I'm for people. Ah. Mm -hmm. God said, well, yeah. but we love God, you have to love people. Amen. Jaya, you got to love people. <laughs> <laughs> I went with the huggers, you took over. Don't worry. <laughs> Number six, knowing you'll be with God for eternity. I can get through this world because I know one day I'm going to be out of here and I'm going to be with God for eternity. You know, you want, you want the kind of body in heaven like you've got now? No. Oh, see, you're struggling right now, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you, know, you, have, you have that perfect body in heaven. Why have to worry about Papa wakes up there? Well, we'll be living for God. Tracy, you gonna take the weights to you, heaven? Because you probably know it. Heaven would be heaven without weight lifting weights. Would be. <laughs> but God wants us. I know when I go through something on earth, God's got a heaven wait for me. Yes. He said, "I'm going to prepare a place for you. Yes. That where I am, you'll be also. Yes. And it's going to be better than anything I can ever yes. imagine. I can imagine it. It's going to be greater than yes. whatever I can imagine. I can see my mom, yes. my dad there. I can see my brothers there. I can yes. see my wife there. And I know I want to join them because I know they're rejoicing. Yes. I'm the one that's." Missing them. I'm the one who's got tears sometimes, but they're rejoicing. Mm -hmm. And when I know one of these days, I'm going to be with them. Mm -hmm. Not right, right now. I some prayer. <laughs> I got a work to do. I got a work to do. God's got a work for me. I told you, God told me, don't focus so much on those you lost. Focus on those that you still have with you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you want to think about them, but don't focus on that. Focus on the people that you still have. Mm -hmm. So every now and then I stop by and see my son. Especially since he forgot where I live. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, boo. He goes by my house. I'm always going when he comes by my house. I can't time that right. He goes by my house, I'm not there. But I gotta work, we gotta work on that. One time I came home, he's on the piano playing, remember that? <laughs> but to know I'll be with God for eternity. 2 Corinthians 4, 17 and 18. For our light and momentary troubles. What's it say? Our light. Sometimes it don't feel so light, does it? And it, that moment seems very long. Momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For the, the seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Amen. We walk by what? Faith, Amen. not by sight. So when we go through a lot of problems in this world, remember, we're passing through. We don't want to be here for so long. But when I go to heaven, when, I be, when I'm with God in glory, it is for eternity. So yeah, we, I've tried many days. I've had a lot of problems. But God always, but I never lose my praise. Never lose your praise. Yes. In fact, praise more when you're going through something. Yes. I had tears coming on my cheek, praising God. Yes. It looked, I knew God knew. That was a sacrifice of praise. You know, all of a sacrifice. Yeah. Sometimes it's a sacrifice to praise God. Because mm -hmm. you, your body don't want to. Right. Your circumstances are so heavy on you. You're going through so much. I don't like praising God. But God brought deliverance. Mm -hmm. And I remember my girlfriend broke up from, with me. No, four years were long. But I kept praising God. And God had a blessing for me. Mm -hmm. In the same time. I'm long distance relationships are bad. 
I can grow an Akron, that's hard. You gotta say if I can do any place where I wasn't working real, you know, go to Akron, come back, and she, you know, we'll be with her for a month, go back and visit. But I thank God right Sandy, right on the other side of town. I can even ride my bike. <laughs> The same bike that I ran up put a flat tire on. I don't know where. <laughs> Everything I had. I'm, you know, when you're a father and your kids borrow your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you got that in you? Oh, all the time. Okay. <laughs> and the same thing. Consider it an honor that your kids even want to wear your stuff. Consider it an honor that the kids want to eat your food. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying they because they, you need to eat mom's first, right? Yes. Mom's stuff came first, and if anything left, ate my stuff less. But I do that. I look back, I said, that was an honor. And lots of them, I didn't even know they wore my stuff until I saw pictures. <laughs> I go, that's my shirt. Oh. Kid, dude, take my, Sandy would help me steal my clothes. <laughs> they take my clothes to Cincinnati and be posing. And then after they come back, pay your key them. You can look at it now, but I already wore it. I got the picture taken, so you can get on me if you want. But it's just clothes, I don't know where. But whatever I had was theirs. I know one thing, I'm going to be with God for eternity. I'm looking forward to that. Amen. And the last one is sharing our lives with others. But let it, you don't just belong to yourself, you belong to us. Amen. And you're a worker. Amen. And you share. I remember like, when Tanya came here and y'all ministered to her, our women rallied around her. And y'all was had words of wisdom. Y'all prayed with power. And see, that's sharing your life. You could, I, I don't worry about that, but you really, I care what's going on in your life. Trace if I have a need, you're there to meet my need. You share your life with me. It's be that we all belong to one another. We used to sing a song years ago. We belong to the Lord. We belong to one another. And I forgot the rest of the words, but it's that we are to be a blessing to each other. Amen. So Zach, I'm going to be a blessing to you. Amen. Some people over state stuff, because they said, you know, you're talking about we belong to one another. And you got that nice old Cadillac outside. Can I drive your Cadillac? Mm -hmm. I mean, you said whatever belongs to you belongs to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> you can ride it my Cadillac <laughs> but it's learning to trust God now I'm, I'm going to share this with you the last scripture, Acts 2 this is the last scripture now I'm going to make you remember all seven keys to that joyful life with the Lord they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and the fellowship to the breaking of bread and to prayer everyone was filled with all and many and many Wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common, selling their possessions and goods. And they gave to everyone as he had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people and all the Lord. And the Lord added to their numbers daily those who were being saved. They were together every day, mm -hmm. breaking bread, sharing the gospel with one another, enjoying the, the, the fellowship with each other, because they love one another. Mm -hmm. When you love somebody, you want to be with them all the time. Amen. I remember when Keith first started liking Alvin. He says, can I come over? And she goes, not today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he goes, Did it, can I go over tomorrow? Well, we'll see. <laughs> it wasn't long after my church, she started falling more and more in love with him. He was over every day. And sometimes he'd be in the apartment before she would get home from work. <laughs> because the relationship grew. So and you, when you love somebody, you want to be with them. Mm -hmm. But I always know what Anthony Nett said because she's married to Coy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes you just need a break. You know? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, That's true. <laughs> I don't think my hope my wife ever felt that way. I hope Penny don't feel that way about my son. But that is that you love somebody, you will be with them all the time. And so I thank God for that. As people of God, you got your hand up? And you know what he did? Change the furniture. Well, I'm going to take the spirit of God. Okay, one more time. I expect me to talk about Bible class. <laughs> but I just thank God right now that he is a wonderful God. And he loves me. And I just, I just thank God because when he saved me, so think I need to save you for yourself. Now you are to be a blessing to other people. Yes, right. I'm passing you out. Touch the lives. Make a difference. Touch the lives. Make an impact. Make an influence on other people. Seven keys. Key number one was what? Total commitment. Okay, total commitment. Okay. 
Don't be making up your own keys now. Okay. okay. <laughs> Key number one. It might be true, but that's not what I got. Okay. Total commitment. Number two. Lay, lay, I, lay, 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 lay down. Lay down, right. You are the, your life is laid down. You don't longer belong to yourself. You belong to him and to other people. Number three. Worship. You're a worshiper. Are you really a worshiper? You worship in the home as well. Okay. Number four. You walk in his revealed light. Somebody must order it down. Thank God for that. Number five, develop an intimate relationship. You see, some people, they're not, they're not intimate with one another. Husband and wife, not even close to one another. You know, you got to be intimate with your kids. Look around, hold this intimacy. Being close to your family. Look crazy, guys. I'm around. When I sit beside you, you have to run around me. But that is it. <laughs> Being intimate with people. It's pretty, and okay, what's the number? next one? A little bit louder. Knowing you will be with God for eternity. Are you going to be with God for eternity? Yes, I am. Oh, I, yeah. The older you get, the more determined you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I was 20, 30, I kind of, but now I didn't, I didn't read my Bible for six months. I have read my Bible now, and I'm praying now, and I'm praying to God now because I'm getting older. I'm on this side of the hill. Okay. And the last one? Sharing your life with us. There you go. I guess it might be your spoke person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Share your, if no one will, but put it in the right order, but sharing your life with others. So when you get saved, you no longer are your own. That song that uh, Chuck likes to play, I give my life away, you do. When you give your life, I'm not going to hold on to my life any longer. My life belongs to God. And if whatever he wants to do in my life, I pray that I don't resist him, that I yield to him and let him use me. I just thank God right now for the seven keys to enjoy my walk with God. Yes. Now next Sunday, Jenny's going to be doing praise and worship. Amen. And I just thank God for that because she enjoys the walk with God. Yes. When she sings, she's not just singing because I asked her to. She enjoys worshiping the Lord. Amen. Randall enjoys worshiping the Lord. Amen. Got a good voice, but we never get to hear him. But that voice, now the boys are singing. The princes, they sing. And what is they and they sing in front of God's people. Yeah. So you guys can have a really a band, one playing the guitar. Or, <laughs> yeah. I just thank God for my grandkids. Mm -hmm. All my grandkids are saved. Amen. My kids are saved. My grandkids are saved. I just thank God for that. Amen. And I just I want to continue to be. Can you always be an example to your family? Amen. Even as grandparents and Gigi is Gigi still tell? I cannot talk to Gigi without her instructing me on something. <laughs> She's always, I'm going to talk to her, she's a sick, you know, you need to with So she's, that's who, and that's who she is. So you're always sharing your wisdom with people. So I thank God right now. Erica, are you enjoying your walk with God? And it's going to get even better in there. There you go. So does anybody have any prayer requests? We want to open up the altar for prayer. If you have anybody that you know that needs prayer, that just get some music going, whatever. I just thank God right now. He is worthy of all praise. Father, we just thank you right now that your word is true. That God, that we may walk in your word, to love your word, to know that you are a healer and that you are a deliverer. That God, that you move mightily in the lives of your people, that you touch our families, that you touch our homes, that our home will be full of your presence. Help us, God, right now to believe in you. If there's any one that has the need to pray, God, right now, that you will just touch their lives and bring healing in their lives and bring deliverance in their Thank lives. You, Lord that God, Jesus. that you'll save their children. Yes. Move mighty, God. Give them jobs. Open yes, up doors for them. Let them know that you love them. Yes, the teenagers, Lord. that God, that you'll deal with them as they grow up. Yes, that have the fear of the God in their heart. That God, that they will yes, serve you in the Lord. schools and they'll serve you with their friends. When yes, their friends don't Lord. want to serve you, that yes, they'll stand yes, out yes, and they'll be holy yes, and righteous Jesus. before their friends. Let them know they are not yes, ashamed Lord. of the gospel. Help us, God, to be bold for you. Help us, God, to look to you. Have our eyes fixed on you to walk in your ways. We praise you, God, right now that you chose us. Yes, we didn't choose you. You chose us that we may represent you in the earth and that we may represent you well. Help us, God, right now to look to you, you that you meet every need in our life, that you're the God that's more than enough, that God let us to reach you're reaching out our hand to you to receive from you the blessings that you have for us, to come before your throne and receive the mercy and grace that we need. We thank you, God, that you are God, and we are your people, yes, and the sheep of your yes, pastor, and that, God, that your care is in our lives every day. You meet every need in yes, our lives. We thank you, God, now for your great love and your great compassion for your people. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Hallelujah. If no one has any prayer, a need right now, we just continue to pray for you. Um,
Sister Tanya and Sister Rita. Okay, she's going to stand for herself and for Tanya. Like I said, Tanya's been going through the, uh, what we call fibromyalgia, and so it's, it's painful, and so we need to be praying for her. She was going to try to come to church today. She said, yeah, I guess she's just too painful. Can you Father, in the name of Jesus, we just lift this reverend right now that you touch her. To be right now. Deliver her from the illnesses and sicknesses. Right now. God, we pray that you touch her. God, that you touch her. The God that your hand be upon her, deliver her. God, for these illnesses and pains. And God, to bring the relief that she needs. To touch her in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now by the power of the living God. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God flow through this body right now. That every illness will leave right now. Every pain will leave right now. That heal right now. Be healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. We receive your healing power. God, right now, touch it. Be healed right now. God, it is you. The God, that we do our part. And we cry out to you, God, but you bring the healing. Touch her right now in the name of Jesus. God, touch her and deliver her right now. Hallelujah. Touch her right now in Jesus' name. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Thank you. And God, we lift up Tanya right now that you touch her and bring deliverance in her life right now. That God, you're able to relieve her, God, from the pain and the anguish that she's going through. That God, in the name of Jesus, she be healed right now. Touch Tanya and to heal her right now in the name of Jesus. They should be relieved right now. Touch her. Praise her of God with the resurrection power. And that God, she may be healed right now in Jesus' name. Touch her right now. God, we thank you in the name of Jesus. That Tanya will be healed right now in Jesus' name. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, touch my God, heal in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We'll continue to pray. I'm going to stop you from working, though, is it? Back to Canada, we'll do that. Okay. Stand for her boss. Stand for her. God, we just pray for Mark right now that you watch over him. Let there be no complications as he get COVID. You're able to deliver him, to bring him out without any complications. And no danger to God that he may heal and to God that he'll be okay. We pray right now your hand is upon him. Bring total relief right now, total healing right now, total deliverance right now, no complications. In the name of Jesus, touch Mark right now. In the name of Jesus, lay your hand upon him that he may be healed. He may be delivered. And we thank you, God, right now. Hallelujah. To God, that you are there, God. That you will embrace him in your arms, and God, that he may know of your deliverance. He may know of your healing power. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, I thank God for this day as we go home. Just continue to distrust the Lord. Jim, once again, hope we see you again. Now you know where we're at. Yeah, I know you've been before, but it's good to see you again. Are you living here in town? Okay, good. I hope the rest of the family is doing well. Uh, your brother, the older brother was here what, a couple years back. He came to Chris. He came to visit a couple of times. So I thank God for that. Jane, it's good to see you. It's good to have visitors. You saw a visitor's card? I just thank God for that. And so, uh, the internet, like I said, it's always good to have you back. Amen. So, of course, you've been taking you out to a great dinner since you've been gone for three weeks. Okay, <laughs> so much for that. Okay, and don't say McDonald's. Here we go. Father, we just thank you right now for you are our God. We are your people. Be with us as we worship you and praise you throughout the day, throughout the week, for you are our God. And the God that will never get tired of praising you, that you are so good to us. We reverence your name and we reverence you, and that God will continue to please you by our lives. Be with us as we go home, and let us not be timid, but to be bold in sharing our faith you, to our friends, to our family members, and those that we know. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now it's time for offering. Father, we just thank you for the offering. May you bless the giving of our hands that will bless the kingdom of God. Help us, God, not to be stingy towards you, but to give bountifully and be thankful and cheerful as we give to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please rise, face the wall, starting from the rear. <laughs> Baby, my angel.